Hey there, I'm your host Lassawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a death menu. So this is building up from the previous menu series I did. And if I walk about and I press one, so we ragdoll and then I'm going to get my death or game over screen. Now from here, we have a few options. I can restart the game. And if we're walking about again, oops, I tripped. Then we have a few more options. We can load the game. You can load your save. And if you don't want to, we can click back. And this will put us back in the main menu. So if I go into the game um, again and I press one, then we can, of course, do our main menu. And if I don't like that, then, of course, we can do the last option, which will be simply to quit the game. And with all that said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Now, over here, I'm going to go to my menus folder where I have everything. And essentially, we just want to right click user interface and widget blueprint. Now, I'm going to call this widget WB underscore that menu or that screen. Both are fine. And once inside, we want to add a canvas panel. Then on top of this, I'm going to add an image. Now, this image I will anchor to be full. And for these values, offset right, offset bottom, just set them to zero. Just like so, you should have it on your full screen. Now, then for color, I already have one there. So I'm going to hit OK. Next, we can add some text and we can drag that onto the canvas panel now for the text size i'm going to say 112 and size to content and for the text itself i'm just going to say game over you can say you died or whatever you prefer now let's anchor this in the middle top so if i can get it center aligned out there looks good to me yeah that's fine then we can get a vertical box in which we will have all of our buttons so put that into the canvas panel and for size X, say 400 and for size Y, say for 70. Now for the anchor, it's going to be dead in the middle, just like that. And for the anchor again, we can bring it here. And if you're wondering how I'm doing this, it's just with the arrow keys. So that's looking good for me. Next, let's get a button. And we want to put this inside of our vertical box. And now let's get the text and this text will go on top of our button. So for the text in the button, I'm going to size it to 56. And then for the button itself, if you click on it, if you see padding, we want this to be 30 at the very bottom. Now, if we select the button and the text, copy that. And if we paste it into the vertical box, we'll have a little gap. And that's what we want. Now for the text block here, we will say restart. For the text block here, we will say load or load game, whatever you prefer. Then for this, we will say main menu. And for the very last one, we will say quit game. Now, it's a good idea to name these buttons. Otherwise, you might get confused. So select the button and over here, just say restart button and make sure you actually have the button, not the text. So be careful with that. Then for this, we will say load button. For the next one, we will say main menu button. And for the very last one, oops, that's, that's, that's not what I want. And for the very last one, we can call this the quit button, just like so. Now we can go uh, to the event graph because we are essentially done here. So go to the event graph. We can delete these guys over here. We don't need that. Then for the load button, unclicked and just do it for all of your buttons. So let's do that. Then we will start with restart since this is our first button. So over here, what you want to do is open level either by by name or by object reference. Now I will do by object reference because it's just easier for me. And I will select the third person map. Next, get player controller. And we want to do a set show mouse cursor. Set that to false. And we want to do set input mode game only. So once you've done that, simply connect it to everything else and we can comment our code and this will be called restart button just like that that's all good next let's get our load button and if you don't have this i simply i'm just following the menu series i did before so from here i would do remove from parent then i would do create widget and this would be my load widget so i'm just going to search for load and i should get it load menu 
That's that. And then I can do add to viewport. So that's looking good. We can comment this code and say load button. Next, let's get our main menu button. And for this, simply just do open level by object reference if you have it um, there. So I will say main menu. Now I'm doing this because my main menu is in a different level. So that's why this works. And I will say main menu button. If you have it in the same menu, you can simply just do this code here. Then on quit, we can do, oops, get that there, quit game. And that's essentially it. So just comment that, quit game. And you are done with the widget. So we can compile and save. If we exit and we go to our player, so third person blueprints, BP underscore third person character. Over here, I already have a debug key one. So if I press one, it's going to do a ragdoll. From the ragdoll, what we can do is um, we can do a delay of one. So just hold down D and press left mouse button. Delay of one or two seconds is good. And we can destroy, destroy our actor. There we go. Now, after this, I want to have my that menu. So we can actually create a custom event for that. Call this that menu. From here, we will do create widget. Now, this widget is going to be our that menu. So search whatever you named it. We can promote this to a variable. I actually have this here, so let me just delete that. We can promote to variable and call this that menu ref just like so then next we can do add to viewport and one more thing get player controller just like so we can do set show mouse cursor this will be set to true and at the very end we can do set input game and ui so with this it's looking all good we can plug that into there and for the widget to focus, just hook that up to your that menu reference. Comment to this code, call it that menu. And if we call this event right here, that menu, everything should be working good for us. So let's try this out and see how this works. So everything's compiled. We go about ta la 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 la. We press one and we die. There we go. This works. So restart works. Okay. If we tripped, oops, I fell. We can go to load game. That works too. And let's just get the loading screen over with. So if I die again, we can go to my main menu. And then if, if everything works, I assume the quit game will also work too. So yeah, that works perfectly worse. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.